Google Chrome has a lot of features built in, but the best features of Chrome can only be triggered through Chrome flags. That is the experimental flags. So here are five Chrome flags that you should definitely try. The first flag is parallel downloading. This basically splits the files that you are downloading into multiple chunks and downloads them parallelly. And after that, it combines them to form a single file. All these things happen in the background, but what you see is a massive increase in the download speeds once you enable this feature. This on the left is without parallel downloading and on the right is with parallel downloading. You see the speed difference? That's what parallel downloading does. So to enable it, go to Chrome flags and search parallel downloading. Enable it and relaunch Chrome. That's it. Download bubble is basically a small download button that shows all the downloads instead of the bigger bottom shelf. This update is actually been rolled out to some stable users, but if you don't see this feature yet, you can use some Chrome flags to do that. To get it via Chrome flags, go to flags and search download bubble. Enable it and relaunch Chrome. Now whenever you download something, a download icon appears to the side of search bar and you can see the progress there directly. Smooth scrolling is a Chrome flag that makes the scrolling thing on Chrome really smooth. It reduces lag and it makes everything look so smooth. This is without smooth scrolling and this is with smooth scrolling. Can you see the difference? So to enable it, it's a very simple thing. Go to Chrome flags and search smooth scrolling. Enable it, relaunch Chrome and it should work. This flag basically adds a reader mode to Chrome, which strips all the unnecessary information like ads, recommendations, etc, etc. And it will give you a clean page, which you can read with full concentration. To enable it, go to Chrome flags and search enable reader mode. Once you enable it, you will see this icon in any web page. You can click on that to enter the reader mode. See, this is how it looks. And the best part is you can even customize it. Click on this button and you will see some options that will help you to customize the page. You can change the font, color of the background, etc, etc. Okay, we all love dark mode. But when you are browsing on the internet, some websites support dark mode while some does not support dark mode. So this flag basically forces dark mode into every website that you visit on Chrome. So to enable it, go to Chrome Flex and search auto dark mode for web contents. Once found, enable it and relaunch Chrome. And also a caution, while enabling the feature, choose only enabled, nothing else. There are five to six options here and don't choose anything else than enabled. Now, whatever the website you visit, everything opens in dark mode. Nice. So guys, that's pretty much it with this video. Hope you found it helpful. And if you did, smash that like button and also subscribe the channel for more amazing technology content. I hope to see you in my upcoming videos. Thanks.